Does she have gas? Yeah. Few more things about the generator. We always keep it under a nice 10 by 10 canopy so it doesn't ever get wet. We built that nice little base for it so that it's always level. That's a very important part of this generator is that it's always level. It's running on economy right now and you can hear how smooth it is. And I have to say, it was down below 50 degrees and the thing is just running fantastic. And even over the summer, in 90 degree, 90, even higher than 90, 96 degree weather, it still ran down here on, in this shaded area with no problem. And it, for this little tiny trailer that we have, it really, it ran that AC and cooled, you know, cools it off. It's a 5,000 BTU AC absolutely no problem. Right now we're just running the generator for the refrigerator and to charge up all our batteries and whatnot on all our electronics. We just made a pot of coffee too. Okay, so we just got here. We used the generator for what, seven weeks over the summer? Yeah. And we've been gone... About five weeks. Five and a half weeks. So... We're just going to see if it'll start up. Yeah, it's been sitting. Um, <clears throat> and it will be getting an oil change soon. We're going to probably do that today. We'll videotape that too. All right, so uh, yeah. let's see if she starts up. No uh ohs. Do you have it on economy? So, hmm, why wouldn't she start? She starts up. Does she have gas? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so we know that it didn't start. Wanted to take a quick look at the oil and see. Maybe it's, uh, the oil level might be a little bit low because of the low oil cutoff. I did notice that it's very sensitive as far as the range where the oil can be, especially if the generator is not level on the ground, that may also trigger the oil level sensor. So the book says that it recommends an oil change every 50 hours, and we definitely use this thing for at least 50 hours. And I did notice one time that it would like almost stall and then go back on again and that was the oil cut off triggering it to do that so as soon as I put in a couple of drops of oil in it very small amount it ran fine again so here's our oil fill stick right here just to see I know it looks like it's plenty full but that little bit that it's missing will probably prevent it from starting um, look in there. It really needs to be filled. Mm, mm. It's actually right there. Um, huh. the only so way to change the oil in this, then? the only way to change the oil on this particular model is to pick it up and pour it out. There's no drain plug. Ooh, could, it's dripping. Could get Careful. a little bit messy. Ready? Quick. Ew, that oil is really dark. Is it supposed to look like that? It's old. So that's not good oil. It definitely needed an oil change, right? Yeah, it's dirty. It's for dirty sure. oil, for sure. That's just synthetic oil, 5W30. All right, so it was well overdue. Um, well overdue. Do you need a rag quick. or anything? Ooh. That little thing. I do need a rag, hang on. Let's take that out, what is that? It's. It was like a, a, a gasket that goes around the whole edge. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. other, all the, you might want to replace the gasket in some places. Nah. Anyway, I'm going to try and quickly fill this up because we don't have a lot of time. Five W thirty. And this thing has to be perfectly level. 
Doesn't look very level right now, no. I have to be honest with you. As a matter of fact, it's probably tilting in the wrong Toward direction. Toward you, yep. So that might be why it looked like it was more oil in it than there was. It's still tilting toward you because yeah. this back piece of wood is higher. I know. How about if I move it? Yeah, that's much better. Gotta watch that. Chances are I'm gonna overfill it. No, don't say that. Oh, you did. It's dripping out all over. Is it though? Yeah, looks like it. Yep. Clean your dipstick off. When I tell you, it needs to be filled right to that edge. I'm not lying. They say don't screw it in to check it. Nope. See? It's not showing really it's where... It's not it... even showing yet. It needs to be filled all the way to the tippy top of these threads. On the uh, on the neck, most engines it gets filled to the base of the neck. But on this thing, you basically have to fill it till oil is right at the edge. It's a little tricky. It looks like it's there, though. It does look like it's there. Because it looks like it's dripping out. So it looks good there, but is the machine level? We well, should be pretty close. Okay. I'm glad that we did this, and we're gonna see if it starts because... That oil was looking pretty gunky. Yeah. That's not good. We let it go a little bit It's long. still dripping out like crazy all over, honey. Oh, look. Plastic. oh is that what it is? That's why that piece of gasket looks the way it does. Probably. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're gonna... So that's it, that's done. Now you just have to put the side back on. Side back on. Goes on pretty easy. Put this little cover on. Put it on the ground. This thing starts. Is it on? There it goes. It's got a red light though. Why? Not green. Well, it's only green once it gets up to speed, honey. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow, this thing don't want to. There it goes. Dirty muffler. I... I think I flooded this thing. There she goes. There it goes. Sounding good. Sounds good. I literally got the camera like eight inches from it. Now I'm going to walk so you can hear the sound away from it. It's so super quiet. So after more than a year of owning this generator and pretty much completely neglecting it, one might even say abusing it, it has more than met our expectations and it's done everything we've asked it to do. Uh, it's never let us down. So I promise to take much better care of my equipment in the future. Hopefully this shows you uh, what a quality machine this really is. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and possibly subscribing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.